Our last speaker needs little introduction. A football player, state champion, member of the Student Leadership Board, Canadian, and my English buddy, Noah Gravel. I've been waiting a long time to do this speech. If you would have asked me a year ago, I would have mentioned to you my obsession of playing D1 football. I would have mentioned to you my desire of making my mom and dad proud. It was all or nothing. There was no plan B. Today, as I stand in front of you, I realize all things are different now. I was so focused on this goal that over the course of time, I forgot to look around me. I forgot to be grateful for what I had. When I first got here, I was excited to be a boarder. I was excited to learn more about the American culture. I was excited to develop myself in a world where no one knew me. I was excited to create my own personality. I was excited to create the person I really wanted to be. Eventually, all those things came together. My first year was amazing. I was living in a cheap high school TV show. After a year, I grew up, I made friends, and I came close with a lot of people. But one person changed my life. She changed my perception on things. She helped me gain confidence, and I fell in love with her soul. The chemistry between us was immediate. And I just, it just felt like electricity and water. We just connected. But I learned early in life that everything great comes with challenges. So August 14, 2022, I hit one of my hardest moments. It was the start of my long distance relationship. It will be the start of FaceTime and letters by the mail. I miss her every single day and I cried for months. I quickly became grateful for her and I quickly realized that I found the right person for me. As funny as it can sound, we actually never really talked about the future. We just knew we would make it work. Distance was not going to bring us apart and like Marvin Gaye said, there ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> that was a little bit cheesy. <laughs> As we got into a new routine, I found a best friend, a homework partner, a motivator, and someone who would bring the best out of me. For my gratitude, I dedicated my senior season to her in a special way, with the number four. A lot of people have shaped my character, but failure has been my greatest teacher. Since I turned four, football's always been the most important thing in my life. It's always been there for me, it always fixed all my problems, and it's the only reason why I'm here today. On a personal level, my senior season was extremely hard, and unfortunately, I didn't do enough to earn a scholarship. On January 21st, I hit a wall. It was a national football signing day. I've always dreamed about this day. I dream about putting a hat on my head and committing it somewhere big. I dream about a day where I will tell my mom we made it. Sorry. I wanted to show the world that hard work, dedication, sacrifice will be successful. I just wanted to make my mom and dad proud, and now I was a failure because I had nowhere to sign. I felt like I could never look at my mom again. I hit rock bottom. I simply knew there was no more hope. No one wanted me. No D1 coach in America wanted no arrival. I hit myself and I cried because I knew this special day would never come again. Through dark times, one person took care of me when no one knew what was going on. She gave me some help, she opened her home to me, she took care of me, and she simply loved me like her own son. Her family had taught me how to drive, they murdered me, they supported me, they showed me everything about Chattanooga. I found best friends, new grandparents, new TV show partners, new cooking partners, even more siblings. I spent all my weekends with them, even when Coco was not here. Without her, I truly don't know what would have happened to me. Honey brought back something I lost a while ago, joy. I've been blessed with this family. They changed my life. They changed, they made everything for the best. And I'll forever, forever be grateful for them. Before I end, I need to thank Coach Kaufman for everything he did to me. I will never be grateful enough you changed me. To Miss Young, thank you for all the time you invested in me. <laughs> to Emo, I will forever be, be grateful for letting me eat everything out of your fridge. 
I bet the grossy bill never went so high. I'm pretty sure you were glad to see Tony and I leave this summer. <laughs> to Lori and Bryce, thank you for spending all your days with me. To Miss Fraley, thank you for all the time you listened to me. To Eric, thank you for being the older brother I never had. To Sally and Steven, thank you for always taking care of me and helping me with whatever. To Courtney and Crystal, thank you for loving me like a little brother. To Tony and all my Canadians, ici c'est chez nous, et merci pour toute notre belle soirée. To my parents, my brother, my sister, thank you for the best experience of my life. Thank you for always being proud of me and always loving me. All of that would have never been possible without all your sacrifices. After two years, disappointment, failure, I've been part of my time at Baylor. But today, I see, I, I see that I fell in the most successful way possible. Things didn't go the way I wanted, but after all the ups and downs, I'm just thankful. Everything happens for a reason, and I see how beautiful and unique my story is. Life is simply preparing me to accomplish my childhood dream, which is to be a hero back in my hometown. Baylor, we'll see each other, but until then, I wish you good luck. Thank you.